Hey guys, welcome to Cycle 3 Classical Conversation Science Experiments. Um, the first half of this year, we're going to be studying anatomy, some parts of the body, and some body systems. Um, it's really easy each week as we do this to point back to an intelligent designer, an intelligent creator, who thought of all the details uh, when it comes to how our body works. Today, in week one, we're studying vision. Um, we're doing science experiment number 68 called blinking, and this is studying the idea of persistence of vision and what that is. Step one in our science experiment or science me scientific method is purpose or question. And so the question or the purpose of what we're studying today is how do we see? What are the parts of our eye? Does anybody know how our eyes work and how they see? Um, can anybody name parts of your eye? Um, does anyone remember yet or know how our eye translates messages to our brain? Um, so just start with some questions. The second part is um, background research. With this, this means you want to give them just a, a basic foundation of information so that an experiment makes more sense, especially for our little kiddos. And so um, today, so for this, I would rather show them a picture of the anatomy of the eye and just kind of walk through a basic path of how vision happens. Um, I've drawn a very simple diagram up here and I have a helper who's going to walk through how the eye works and creates vision. Hello everybody, so this is Professor Sullivan. I'm going to be explaining the eye. So, first, this is my little diagram. So, the light off of an object or environment goes in through the cornea, which is the outer layer of your eye, through the pupil, and then through the lens, which focuses it, and then that goes to the retina, which sends it into um, electrical impulses which can go through the optic nerve, which will lead to your brain. So yeah, goodbye. Thank you, Professor Salady, who wanted to help me out with this today. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she is correct. So that was the basic parts of the eye. We talked about the cornea, the pupil, um, the pupil surrounded by our iris or the color part of the eye, the lens, which focuses, and we'll talk more about that next week in week two, and the retina sends the electrical impulses to the brain. Um, that will be helpful information before we do our experiment. To do our experiment, our basic materials are, um, you will be given a two by four rectangle piece of white paper for each student. They will need to get one of their pencils out of their bags um, and rulers, pass one out for every student and you will have tape in your bin. Um, what's helpful, I will feel like, is as you're talking and explaining some things, you can have a parent helper um, give each student four to five little pieces of tape so it'll be ready for action when you're there. And they can do that after you've already done the background information. So every student will have two of these. Um, and on each of these, they're gonna take their ruler and draw a straight line one inch from the bottom and one inch from the top. So again, one inch from the bottom, one inch from the top, and it will turn around and look like this. So basically you're just creating a little square in the middle. Now you have that on both sheets, okay? Again, for the littles, you can have parent helpers help the kids um, line up where an inch is and then make it a straight line. It does not have to be exact, but again, you just basically are making a box there in the middle so um, to draw your picture. Inside that box um, today for week one we also in fine arts are learning about our oils and so this would be another great oils project to just lead them through on the whiteboard. Um, they're going to make two faces, very basic faces, um, but I would walk them through step by step by using the board. So first of all what you're going to do is you're just going to make a large circle have everybody do that. You're going to make two smaller circles. Um, you're going to, um, you can draw a line if you want. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't do that. I would keep it simple. 
um, you want to have your eyes here. You want them in the same place on each one. And simple little angled line for a nose, an angled line for a mouth, and then they can rather give their person spiky hair or curly hair. Either way is fine, or they can leave it bald as long as it stays similar. So they're going to do that on the first thing, so it will look something like this. So both eyes open and simple face. On the second one, they're going to do the exact same process, except for one of the eyes, instead of your circle, you're going to have them just draw a slight angled line. Looks like that. Looks like that on here. So you've got one smiley face, one winking smiley face. And so then, once you have two of your little faces drawn, and you've practiced your oils by drawing the faces, they're then going to take their little pieces of paper and see if I can do this here so you can see it. The winking eye is going to go attached to the table. So you're going to put a little piece of tape on the top and a little piece on the bottom. And you're just going to tape the winking eye down, top and bottom. The next one, your smiley face, you're going to lay directly on top of the winking one. So you've got winking, lay this directly on top, and you're going to just tape the top. So just tape it to the top so it's covering it. You now want to take your pencil, you're going to put one or two little pieces of tape and attach the pencil to the end of that piece of paper so that you can roll it up. So again, pencil, tape to the paper. And then they just want to roll, I would just do it at least once or twice to get the paper in the right shape. Um, and they're gonna roll that piece of paper, the wide eyes up, and they're gonna roll it open so you can see it. And now you're going to ask them, what do you think's gonna happen when we roll back the top, the one with the eyes open, really fast. Who thinks it's gonna look like that eye's moving? Who doesn't think so? Um, and so then that's your, your hypothesis. Then you're actually gonna do your experiment. Um, and you wanna do it as quickly as you can while also maintaining a good roll. So once you, um, you really, once you get the paper rolling, it works better if they can just keep the pencil between the little box. If they can roll it just from the top line to the bottom line, just back and forth, back and forth, that short distance, you get a better view of it. So um, again, just back and forth. What do you see? What's happening here? And it looks like our little lady is winking at us. Um, and so why is that? Why did that happen? Um, and that's when you can then go back and say, well, what do we say is how we see things? And what's happening here is something called persistence of vision. When the light goes through from our little smiley face, that object through our cornea, our lens, our retina sends it to our, through our nervous system to our brain, the image sits on our retina for about 1 16th of a second, so not very long. Um, and so it sits on there before it translates it to our brain. When we can change the image fast enough, less than 1 16th of a second, when we can change that fast enough, then that the first image we saw is still sitting in our brain, um, or still sitting on our retina before it gets to our brain. And so it tricks our eyes. And so our brain says, I know that that eye is not really moving, but our eyes say, yes, it is. It looks like it is because of that quote unquote persistence of vision. This is how things called optical illusions are taken place and how they're done. Um, you could show them how to make their own flip book cartoon, um, like the old days and um, show them how it's that same thing as the persistence of vision that makes it look like that little person's running or walking or jumping through a little flip book. 
Um, you could show them examples of that. Tell them to do that at home this week and bring it home for or bring it back next week for presentation. All right, let me know if you have questions. Bye.